You don't always know when it will be the last time. To make it short, yeah, I'm uh, retiring from competition. You don't always get to choose when an era is over. And it's all on the GOAT. One versus two to try and keep his team alive, keep the dream alive for them. Oh, they're right up behind him. The flick not connecting and he is brought down. We knew for sure that as the last CSGO major, Paris would be the end of something. But it still managed to surprise us. Present and correct. And it's Zyma with the feed to start. JL, RT, RT, the chosen one is here. The Paris Major showed us exactly how far Counter-Strike has come. Tough scenes on Nork, he's only got one, two, OC nervous, no way! Oh! He's down! Nork, again he stands up, the clutch master in Paris! And he's getting edged up, he needs some backup and it will not be there in time. Cypher with the duel, he's now one versus two, trying to hunt them down. Oh, they're staying hidden, no he way. should be dead, but he hits the headshot coming back. He's no. looking for it and there's no way! And just like the game itself, it wasn't what we expected. But it was even better than we thought. Look around you! We own this arena! CSGO came to France for its final farewell! C'est votre major! C'est votre moment! Pour la scène de Counter Counter-Strike Global Offensive was a bridge that brought two communities together, Source and 1.6. France, mostly known for their Source skills, stood out early on. Pacing himself, he's gonna spot MBK first, he goes down! And LDLC, they pick it up! And look at that, they can hardly believe it! But the country's triumphant run didn't last. And even though France won two CSGO majors, its competitive scene was racked by controversy. Cheating, match fixing, and personal conflicts kept French players away from another major title after their 2015 victory, and nearly compromised even that win. France waited on the sidelines as Brazil and then Denmark dominated different eras of the game. It felt to many like French CS was doomed to never win again. The Blast TV Paris Major was announced in September of 2022. It was gonna be the first ever CSGO major hosted in France, but the last of the entire game. This was a big deal, not just to French CS fans, but to France as a whole. President Macron, while seeking re-election in 2022, promised to bring a CSGO major to his home country. And Macron announced the major too, a few months after winning that re-election. Le Blast TV Major Counter-Strike se tiendra à Paris. Le tout premier major de Counter-Strike organisé en France et ce sera à l'Accor Arena à Paris dans moins de 10 mois donc. Ça c'est la première nouvelle, je sais qu'elle était attendue par beaucoup. The stage was set for a French CS revival, but whatever we expected, once it actually got started, the Paris major continued to surprise. The major didn't exactly start with a bang, but by the legend stage, things really went off the rails. Some of the strongest teams in the world measured themselves against newcomers and came up short. A lot of utility in the mix! Okay, Cypher in the feed! A quick headshot between the eyes, too! To start off proceedings, he is the brunt and the brute! Of this attack, Jeez. it's all Cypher! Take them all! Starting with a bang, starting as he means to go on. He is within touching distance of making history for the UK. They already have. Look at him go! He wants the ace, and he can it. It's all him, baby! And that's gotta feel good! So much damage, Crucial should be a dead man. Smoke is coming down! Oh, oh that's it! He's done it! Crucial! Magnificent in the finish! It was a bloodbath, as anyone who did pick'ems can attest. Hop out. Alexi goes beyond him. Knock shoots him in the back as Alexi just writes off the possibility. And Knock's gonna get ever closer. Catching both! It's gonna be tough with the AWP. Rez already starting to clear out some of these angles in the bomb site. Brolin's walking. Knock hits the shot. Rez is gonna stick this, or Knock gets him off. And now time is gonna decide. There is no chance for the ninjas. Teams that everyone expected to win. 
teams who were looking to cement their legacies by taking home the last ever CSGO major went down in disgrace instead. We've got Crimson Sight, dodges the flash. He's looking for his moment and fire at the feet of the Moto play. Now Fasher still with nothing and the A site itself is holding. Oh, Crims, he's losing his teammates, but fights the King of Kings inside. will take that 15th for Fnatic. But has that been a problem? They can fixate forward. Oh, and a first one on Nico, straight through the smoke, a dive onto the bomb, but he doesn't stop plant, even doubt, and Hooksy wastes no time. Nikodaz right there, back turn, hits the shot, a second, and Nikodaz is now one away as the kid prodigy, whose dreams will be crushed alongside the Kovac, and all of a sudden he peaks, he goes down. G2's failure to qualify for playoffs was a huge disappointment for a roster that had never managed to clinch a major. Despite adding young hotshot Munasi to bolster the presence of one of the game's greatest ever riflers. I was close, many chances has uh, slipped away, uh, new chapter starting in CS2, and uh, that's it. Navi, with the GOAT himself simple at the helm, were looking for a second major, and an emphatic statement that this was their era. But their chances slipped away. First, losing to Monty, a team that had beef with Simple. Listen, I like the balls of this kid. To come out publicly on Twitter and call out Simple, who's the greatest player of all time in Counter-Strike Global Offensive, and say something like you're watching right now in this quotation is, is speaks confidence, you know, speaks belief in his own abilities. That Molly implies as such, especially with bit one, but here comes Krasnow. He's still on the site. As is Boros, Electronic the one. Ooh. A well-tamed spray from Krasnow for his second make it three. He's locking down B. It's only simple and a fourth for Krasnow. He ties the boys up. That's four to four. And just like that, Waro takes a step in that direction. One back, but that's all. It's all Waro. One more on that war path. 16 secure. Monty up in the lead in this grudge match for a spot in the champion stage. And then at the final hurdle, they were stopped by international powerhouse FaZe Clan. This could actually still go bad for Navi. There's a good pick off Rain. 20 seconds, he picks up the one. Ready as they come through, and oh my god! Rain with the last spray down, taking bit, a triple on the Norwegian. And it's all on the GOAT. One versus two to try and keep his team alive, keep the dream alive for them. Oh, they're right up behind him, the flick not connecting, and he is brought down, Brokey, to send Navi out of the major! Of the top eight teams that made it to the playoff bracket, a staggering five of them qualified from the challenger stage. And among the titans left standing were Vitality, the sole French organization in the tournament, and the one hope for the home crowd. But they stood almost entirely alone. Most of the other massive CSGO names had fallen before even reaching the final leg of the race. And in their place were teams that few expected to make it this far. Monty, Into the Breach, Apex, Gamer Legion. Not exactly the biggest names in the game, but look more closely and you'll see something bubbling beneath the surface. These teams represented years of changes that CSGO brought to the scene, and the potential Counter-Strike 2 could bring. On Monty, Ukrainians Some Die Young and Waro 2K got their revenge on the greatest player ever and their kinsmen, and proved that they could be the next generation of CS talent. It's only simple! He's still thinking about the 18th of September. There's Monty securing top eight. One frag away. Can Poros end it here? Yes, he can! That is beautiful! For Apex, it was a resurgence of old names and younger players hungry to find glory that knocked out North America's only hope. Sneeko still sneaking. Two main and two on that A site. Sneeko! He should have at least one, but the true discipline on the main stage. He's holding his nerve. He's holding his nerve. Oh! Double trouble. Steco, chance. Takes oh. the fight. Oh. Takes the second. Oh, no. They're all falling apart. It's only on one. Nafly and Nitro side by side. He's got seven HP. Could be Jacob. Should be. He's been delivering time and time. Oh! The Norwegian strikes. One. Onto Nafly. One bullet to land it. And secure. Disbelief! First 
major, first stage, no problems. But Gamer Legion best embodied the chaotic bloodbath of the Paris Major, and they reveled in it. They were an international team cobbled together from across Europe and had made it this far through sheer persistence despite an atrocious 0-2 start in Challengers. How do you do this, though? I mean, he's so low on health, right? One little mistake. Not that he's even making one right now. He has no idea where to look. Oh. An awkward scenario. Look oh. at the spray. It's still unlikely he can win the round, but he knows where both of them are at the very least. Crim's just hiding back there. Recording in here. A bit oh. good headshot. Hold the phone. There should have been no way. He should have been dead inside of the smoke to begin with. Looking right over. The spray is good. And Suhei coming up with a massive one versus two clutch. Gamer Legion were led by Shuhi, a 20-year-old Polish IGL who was attending his second major. Shuhi came up through a talent development pipeline that simply didn't exist when some of his opponents got their start in the early days of CSGO. He played his first games at 15, and after being scouted by Polish esports organization Izako Bors, he spent over a year on the Moe's NXT developmental roster while living and studying in Northern Ireland. An opportunity like this for a young player to affiliate with an established esports organization and play Tier 2 Counter-Strike in a stable environment wasn't always a possibility. The opportunity to rise to play in Moe's NXT, and the only option for me to join that team was basically to become an IGL. There was no other role for me, there was no other option. And because I already showed some uh, attributes or characteristics of an IGL before in my first team, I decided to give it a try. I, I don't think I was doing too bad at it. I was also getting praise in Zaka Wars for it from my, from my teammates and, and my coach. So I decided to give it a try, and I think it clicked instantly the very first day whenever I had it. CSGO's explosive popularity made Counter-Strike into a real industry. And if that hadn't happened, the path that Shuhi took to the top would have been impossible for an aspiring CS pro. Instead, the 20-year-old stepped onto the playoff stage in Paris, having already IGL'd for almost two years. He'd been signed with esports organizations for over three years, and had already attended the Rio Major, where two of Gamer Legion's three challenger stage losses were to eventual top eight teams. So maybe we didn't all expect Shuhi and Gamer Legion to show up like this at the Major. But thanks to those who came before them, they definitely had the tools to do it. Shuhei! Nurtured in the Academy League, he was destined to be next. He got a taste for what the championship mentality requires, and it was instilled in him. And once the playoffs began, Gamer Legion showed Paris exactly the kind of threat they represented and the chemistry behind it. And here he is now, Kiaz. Fan favorite, he who was chanted for on his approach, Vitality's homeboy. Frag grenade goes out, not destined to find either two. Oh! The shots are clean now, huge advantage. Now, Moro will receive bomb. Left in this oh. interesting position. Oh, oh my god! Oh. Emma! He steps up and says, Monty, step down. Bomb down again. Forces SDY to double back, and they're going to jump on this in an instant. But Kios, oh, there's an answer! Written off each and every time. The curse of Rio that loomed over them. Shuhei watched all his old teammates do what he wanted, and now he has done it himself! He leads by example here on Overpass with every member of the Legion taking it a step above. Defeating Monty, another dark horse in this unpredictable race, even with their victory over Na'Vi, was one thing. But taking on Heroic, led by legendary Danish IGL Kadian, was another thing entirely. The bomb is still in the hands of Suhei. Oh, they're gonna run right oh, into it. Oh, oh, oh. the spray down. He mows them all right down. USP and Boiler, the only presence at this bomb site. And okay, well, doesn't even get really a chance. Ima Atuani's gonna spray them all down. Quad kill from Ima. And it's 12 to 11. It's gonna draw Ima back. That's a huge red flag. They know what's coming. Suhei on the kill as well. And now Yabi and Kaden are showing up. Ima with the spray down. He's so good. The follow up. He is immortal. It's just Tess's left. And there's nothing to do. Game Legion with a legendary run to make the grand finals of the final major in CSGO. Gamer Legion were in a major final. They were winning hearts and minds, even in hostile territory. 
How nice is it to have these guys completely on your side? I honestly just f***ing love it. But the home crowd was still hoping that their own team would join them there. Since the end of the online era, Team Vitality struggled to find consistent footing. We could beat them today. It shit happens. But we have three more tournaments until the end of the year. But... And we'll get one. I swear we'll get one. If we keep playing like this and we keep working out, we'll get one of these tournaments. And throughout it all, there was the underlying question. What exactly needed to change for the French organization to find that consistency? For some, the answer was getting rid of Apex, now a 30-year-old French rifler who took over as the in-game leader in March of 2020. He had won the last major for France at cluj napoca in 2015, and was the only player to win an international tournament in every year of CSGO competition. But at times, Vitality seemed to fold when it should have been able to hold, including at the PGL. Stockholm major. And more often than not, Apex was blamed for his team's failures. There had been flashes of brilliance from the lineup, of course. With a roster this talented, the ceiling was never in question. But even the addition of Sphinx, a hotshot Israeli rifler who had proven himself with a breakout performance on Ents, failed to really kickstart the roster's results at the subsequent Rio Major or the Blast World Final later in 2022. Still, if you can't find true consistency, then the next best thing is to get hot at the right time. And Vitality did just that. Plenty of players to defend against this, and they want to be aggressive. They don't want to give any room over. Not a lot of utility for Vitality to manage it and give themselves some room to work with. That's a good find. They need the headshots to create the space, but they swing out a little bit too wide. Double kill for Rollins. All the trades are there. Inside Wu with the rebuttal. Into the breach, and they're not good enough, but Rollins is responding. One quick kill. Retake still going to be tough, and it's Magus to deliver a couple into a 1v1. A ridiculous, he hunted him down, what a headshot now, Cypher is looking for him, but that bomb is down there, ticking away, Cypher, yeah, he's oh. running, but he will get shot down, busted out of it, the sting from Meg is too much for Into the Breach to handle a quad kill to begin with, and Vitality, a kill away from the semi-final, crucial, he's being hunted, Meg is with the headshot, and Vitality, they've made history tonight! In the semifinals for the first time, what feels like a date with destiny. Favorites to win the trophy, and they will not be stopped here by Into the Breach, a strong victory. Vitality went undefeated in the legend stage, turning French fans into believers for the first time in years. But again, the lineup of teams waiting for them in the bracket wasn't exactly what they expected. In a way, not having to play teams like FaZe or Heroic was a blessing. On the other hand, Vitality had the pressure of being heavily favored in front of their home crowd, and the other teams put a target on their back. But make no mistake, Vitality had experience to spare. Before joining the French team, Magisk had won three majors with legendary Danish lineup Astralis, and Dupree had four. Young French superstar Zaiwu was still looking for his first, but his performance against the underdogs didn't betray any nerves either. Apex forward, Nort on that orb, has to be a contributing member here as Apex goes, Walker back, and he behind him! It may not be of concern, Magnus can die with no! Oh! Magnus, Magnus, repels, spray three! That is pedigree, and look at that for the finish! Brought down, 15 is all the damage dealt, Steve goes dig, no way. No, not now. How is he still alive? He's down to 2 HP, he somehow lives on, and now they're pushing oh. in! Oh. Unlike so many of the other big names, Vitality were able to cut through their side of the bracket and meet Gamer Legion in the final. It means so much. I, I don't know how to describe it, but the feeling I have is the best in my life. And for an end to Counter-Strike Global Offensive, the symbolism on display was absolutely perfect. Vitality's roster was composed of two Danish legends, a rising Israeli star, and two Frenchmen. 
One, a longtime veteran of the game. The other, a young superstar hungry for his first taste of major glory standing on home soil. Across from them were Gamer Legion, a pan-European mixed team with an average age of 22, nearly four years younger than Vitalities. The roster had greatly benefited from the infrastructure built during the game's period of dominance and looked remarkably calm as they faced the arena. What's more, the two IGLs could hardly have been more different. A 30-year-old veteran who was proving he still had it, versus a young star whose path existed only because players like Apex had shown us all what Counter-Strike could be, and who had everything to prove. Old versus new. Experience versus potential. The old game versus the new one. One team that represented everything Counter-Strike was, and one that represented everything it could be. The home crowd was firmly behind the French side, and Vitality got off to a hot start. The only way we lose this is we lose to ourselves, and that's not gonna happen. The one player is the in-game leader, Shui. He could outperform Apex, and that could be a game at our hands. Starting to press in, timing looking like it is perfection. Double spray down from Dupree. Every time Gamer Legion step on the monster bell, they fall. Sphinx sits behind Pillar, repeats with Apex alongside him. Can Vitality do any wrong? Now Apex is left to clutch. They're close, so close, point blank! He shoots, it's so damn close! The pistol! Just the pistol is all he needs! There's a bit of space offered up from both sides, but now time decides we're beyond that halfway point. Smoke goes, tap on bomb, Shuhei nails the first kill. Zaiwu taps it yet again, but it is Shuhei to close. One more kill, and Vitality find themselves map up in a major grand final. There it is, 16 to six. The pressure is off, their first showing After losing their own map pick of Overpass, Gamer Legion seemed like they'd be doomed on Vitality's pick, Nuke. But they were determined to make it count. On the top of this ramp has gone unchecked. A beautiful moment. Five, seven snaps. Two kills from the corner and a third with just the sidearm. There he is. Aim high, me high. Says never ever. Shoot and below the neck. Bout time on top of that. Give them that bit of space. Nice run, boots. Oh no, Acor. Broken femurs. Dupree and Zaiwu pop back up. It's a good amount of money for Dupree. Yeah. It's Zaiwu in with one and a clean conversion for Vitality. Zaiwu's got him now. He's making a ton of sound. Whoa, 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 whoa. The push with the ball back. Oh, it's a multi. Zaiwu's got that fresh mag ready for some more. Ready for a third serving. How many courses to this meal as Zaiwu pops right back up? Oh, the ramifications of losing this one. It'd be one thing if you're able to just look at a, at a single pinpoint moment where, where something could have gone your way. It was close, but it wasn't enough. Walk into Apex, the only two Frenchmen to take it in a major on French soil. Isaac with everything on him. Vitality shot! France had earned their third CSGO major on home soil at the absolute last possible moment. Apex won his second after more than seven years. Sphinx became Israel's first major champion. Zaiwu didn't miss his last chance in CSGO, and his earth-shattering performance earned him an MVP to boot. And for the two Vitality players from Denmark, they each made history with Majisk earning his fourth major and Dupree forever immortalized as the only player with five. And Apex, well, after all of the doubt and pressure, here, at the game's end, he proved the haters wrong. How does it feel? I don't know how to describe right now. It's so much joy. You know, I've been criticized from day one being in Game Leader, but now I win a f***ing major, so f*** you.
and the assembled French crowd did the thing that they had waited so long to do. Their champions standing before them, they sang France's national anthem, La Marseillaise. Around the world, more than a few fans sang along with them. France's impact could have faded away after its early glory in CSGO. Instead, a new roster and a new superstar opera lit the torch for a new generation at the perfect moment. And for Gamer Legion, who followed their 20-year-old IGL all the way to the end, it was a setback, sure. But it was also a reminder of why we all love this game. I remember I was watching Virtus Pro play and I watched like them stand on the stage and all these fans and just having the support they had back then and then suddenly 10 years forward it's apparently me standing on the stage and I remember even after we lost the grand final I was standing on the side of the stage and I was looking over all these people just basically they are the ones making my dream come true even though they're cheering for the other team I was just thinking what would we actually do without these people coming here today and even those guys at home watching those are, are exactly the people that made my childhood dream come true and many hundreds of other people. The Paris Major gave us the poetic send-off that CSGO deserved, even if it didn't shake out the way we expected. It showed us that in the modern game, you have to be on every time if you want to succeed, because the competition is better than it's ever been. And if the next game's last major is even half as good as this one, it will mean that Counter-Strike isn't just alive, it isn't just thriving, it's forever. Thanks for watching. If you want more content like this, hit the sub button and ring the notification bell. For unique bite sized videos you won't find anywhere else, hit us up on our Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok.